Hello, guys. I'm Hello for Sharp. You know, I'll pick up to my tutorial class on Scratch programming. In today's session, I will teach you guys how to create a game package tag Ghostbuster. Okay, that's Ghostbuster for you, or better still, you can tag it as Spaceship Invader Remix. Okay, guys, so let's take a few minutes to explore the game. Now, red flag pick. Yeah. Set it. If you can go with um, the space bar, hit all your keyboard. Okay. So, the space bar. That's what I used to create Flow Norma Thunderbolt, guys. So, you have five life all together, and um, you have to prevent the ghost from touching you, and you lose life for every um, contact with the ghost. <laughs> Teach you guys how to play this um, from the scratch using a package known as Scratch programming. I'm going to use um, Scratch 2 for this, guys. Are uh, you guys like, hello, call you be using a block 5 of Scratch text? Why can't you use just Scratch 2? Okay, so guys, so we are going to use Scratch 2 to complete this game. Okay, let's get started with the show. Okay, so I'm going to um, end this. Let me exit this uh, and close everything so that I can launch my um, Scratch app. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. I'll launch a scratch you. This is M block scratch, scratch. Scratch, where are you? Uh, this is scratch too. You can see this scratch too, so I'm going to mark it now. Okay, so guys, I'm going to create a um, Ghostbuster. That pretty cool game package from the scratch. Yeah, <laughs> from the scratch programming. Okay, guys, the first thing we are going to do now, if you uh, observe, you notice that we have like five sprites. Okay, then, um, so let me just, I don't need this um, guy, I don't need this sprite guy. So this is actually um, scratch, um, let me say, typical, okay, typical anime. anime. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to use this, so I'm going to replace this. So you can go ahead and delete the better still. You just go ahead to um, new sprite and, and choose sprite from library. Okay, so let's choose um, sprite. Okay, now I'm going to spaceship. You have see you have category, uh, you have team and type. So I'm going to take everything from category, and um, that spaceship should be um, that should be. Let's see on the fantasy. But better still, I'll just scroll through everything. Okay, so let's just go through all other fantasy. Okay, this okay, is what I want. Click OK. So I've been able to import the first sprite. Um, I can go ahead and delete this one on the sprite and delete. Okay, so I have this. Okay, now this is the sprite. This is spaceship, right? You can see spaceship. So I want to reduce the size. It's too big, so let's shrink it. So if you look at this group and this um, icon, you can use it to shrink. shrink. Just click it and uh, click on it so that you can shrink. reduce the size the way you like it. I think it's cool. At this. Okay, the next is that I don't know whether I should just go for my backdrop or I should go ahead and import the remaining two sprites. Okay, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and um, import all our sprites. Okay, so um, just go back to new sprites. Okay, or better still, choose sprite from library. Okay, um, I want to know is everything on the fantasy. Let's just go down here, guys. Import um, choose sprite from the library. So I need to go. I think that should be on the fantasy. If I'm correct, but let's just yeah. Okay, this is ghost one, ghost two. <laughs> oh, this is go. This one, this one is scary. So let's go for this scary one. This one, the mask is too big. I don't just like it. this one. I have to, this is the real Ghostbuster. Yeah, this is the real Ghostbuster. Anime. Okay, so but I want, I want remix. Okay, so let's just change it to this one. Okay, so that's pretty good. So uh, this is quite big, <laughs> and I don't want to die on time. So let's just go ahead and shrink the same. So just click on your. I think it's pretty cool like this, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool like this. Okay, guys, next. A backdrop. So the stage, you can click on the stage and choose your um, backdrop. Okay, so you can see now new backdrop. You can see 
upload from library, you can um, new background from camera, but I want from the library. So let's go ahead and choose background from the library. And um, if you look at the backdrop I have, is some just click, select it, and click OK. So that is the backdrop. So everything is full for now. Okay, yeah. So we can get started with our show. Okay, so the first um, thing I want to do is. Uh, I don't know whether I should work on stride. <laughs> let's start with the spaceship, guys. Sorry about that. So let's start with the spaceship, okay? So now I want to complete code for this uh, spaceship. Uh, to, to complete your code block for the spaceship, you just look at this menu. Uh, go to the menu bar and look at this icon, script. So click on script. Okay. So now the first thing is how to start the game, to initiate the game, how to start the game. So you, you can actually start the game the way you like it. So to start the game, you just go to event. So this is a new event. So you can when space click, when this right click in this like that. But I want when flag when you click this green um flag. So I want to start. So when flag click, then something should happen. So that's the first thing. Now so when flag click, what should happen? Now I want to first um, work on the let me how to navigate um within this region okay i want to be able to navigate to move up sideways left right up and down it is so i want to complete my navigation and i want it to be indefinite do you understand so i want to be able to control it with my um arrow key or my keyboard up key to control up then down to move down left key to the left hand side and right key for right hand side so you can see that this is like a coordinate system okay now but i also want the initial position so which can i start from that is when you click flag then this should go to a default position the spaceship should go to default position so i want it to be origin 0 comma 0 guys so what is the geometry is applicable here okay so yeah 0 comma 0 so you want x and y to be 0 so you can see that as i'm moving this price the spaceship you can see that the x you can see is moving okay so i want 0 0 okay so let's get started now i don't need to waste much time guys okay so i, I want that to continue indefinitely so i'm going to use um control key so to, to control um use forever code block this like it look so it's continue indefinitely forever okay like in your uh python programming but this is coding block for key so you don't need to learn how to do python this is pretty cool right so now forever now i want the conditional statement if um i maybe press up arrow on my keyboard and something should happen should go up this price should move up and when i press down arrow they should move down left arrow should do that is what i want so in that case then i need to go my motion so you need to see motion and so, so now sensing that is because i want this um this part to be able to sense my keyboard so that is sensing okay guys don't forget that is sensing so like a sensor so like uh, yeah when you have your your bots your M bots so it to sense Kind of stuff. So yeah, I wanted to be able to sense my um, keyboard. So go that sensing, so click on sensing. Okay, so uh, what should happen now? I want to use my uh, keyboard arrow key. Keyboard, keyboard arrow key. This arrow key up, down arrow, left and right arrow. So you see now, key space. So just take this one now. If you click this, um, trouble you can see the drop down menu. So you can do up, down, it is like that. So let's start with up. Since um, this code block, this conditional statement um, actually helps to enhance the movement up. Okay, so I'm just going to duplicate um, this. So this will be for down. I'll duplicate again. So this will be for left. I'll duplicate finally. And this will be for right. So um, just go ahead and change this one now. Um, down arrow then. If down arrow, just change this arrow. So if the arrow press, then that should be minus 10. Okay, because negative. Okay, minus 10. Uh, let me put these two together for now. Then I want right. Um, so if right arrow press, now if you don't forget that right is x axis and it's to the right hand side that is positive x value, and to the negative to the left hand side of zero that is uh, negative. Okay, so meaning that I can't use this um, change by y again, so I need to change the coordinates. So that will be change x. Okay, so yeah, change x by, sorry about that. So that will be change x by, no more, you can't use change y by again, so you have to use change x by. So um, change x by, this is positive, so it's cool. And this one I don't need. Um, don't mind me, I don't know. I, I need to be smart. Okay, what I'm supposed to do is just quiet and duplicate this one here. 
I'll just go ahead and do this for you. Okay? So this is for um, to move to the right hand side. This will be to move to the left hand side. So left hand side just take this to left, right. So this is left. So this should be minus because it's left, okay? Minus. Okay, so I think with this um, set of code block, I should be able to navigate. Yeah. See, I should be able to navigate with this, this region. Okay, with this. Yeah. Okay, so let's 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 get started now. So when flat click, up arrow, move up, down arrow, move down to the left, to the right, up down, up down, left right, up down, left right, up down, left right, up down, left. Right, up, down, left right. Okay, this is pretty cool. Is this crack? Yeah. Guys, you see now, this is pretty cool. I am just moving, guys. I can navigate anyway. What do you care about? What are you doing? Look, can you stop playing? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, let's stop playing. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I, I'm cool with that, guys. I don't have anything to do here, okay? Okay, for now, let's call it up for spaceship. Let's go to the next fright. That's C. <laughs> the killer of the Itachi. Okay, let's go for Itachi. Uh, what's that? Go to. Okay, so I did it. Okay, so let's go for go. Okay, let's develop um script for this guy here. Okay, now what I want from this guy is um this guy is a life eater. Okay, he's a killer. So now uh let's start with this um okay, let's just start with um life since you are a life eater, so <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to create some um, variable now because um, if, if you actually want um, kind of, um, you know what a variable is, like I uh, want something that can change, okay, so like um, something that changes, okay, so like a quantity that changes, so a quantity that changes, so that's a variable. So uh, to create a variable, you just go to your data, so yeah, that's where I'm going to be, but let's just get started now. So the first thing is to go event. So event when flat click, so what should happen? So when flat click now, I want um, this uh, spaceship. Originally, you have five life altogether, and the life um, you get you you lose life for every contact this before. Okay, so and um, in that case now, let's go ahead and create life. Okay, so to create life, we'll create a variable on that data. So make a variable. So I'm going to type this um, life. And it's going to be for us five guys, for us five. So we just keep going. So this is life now. So the first thing I'm going to set life to the default. Default life that is before we start. Uh, let's set life to um, five, okay? So five. Set life to five. Okay, you have five life. Oh, pretty, you're powerful, guys. Reanimate yourself, guys. You can't die. What? Okay, I know. What are you talking about? Well, you can say to life, what 50,000 or so that you can live forever. Okay. okay, so the life is just like years. Okay, so this five years will die. Okay. Yeah, uh, for every quarter with this goal here, yeah, yeah, you lose your life. Die. What are you talking about? Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead now. Also, I'm going to make another variable. Okay, yeah, because I want to be able to kill this guy. I, I can destroy life then if you destroy the destroyer. Okay, <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so let, let's make another variable, guys. So let's make a new variable and I'm going to tag that and point. Okay. Point. Okay. So you can increase all your point uh, incredibly. So we can set point to zero because I'm going to increase this uh, for every short um, on this guy. Okay, so yeah, point set point to zero. Okay, so now let's work with the direction of um, yeah. Let's see how this guy will move. Okay, um, I wouldn't know. Yeah, let, let's just do that. So um, let's go ahead with the default um, default position for this guy. So now I want you to come from up like you are coming from the space from heaven. It's a falling angel. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. It's not a falling angel. Okay, so um, it's just coming down from yeah because this is not your world, guys. Spaceship. This is not your world. This is actually maybe Mars or Jupiter, and you want to explore the Jupiter like the Chinese want to do. So uh, you have some aliens that are like. What you are it through that go back to your head, go back, you can't come here. So it's coming down from, from the space and from the sky. 
Okay, so let, let's give it the default position. Okay, so let's give this draw a default position at the default position. So let's if look at the way I'm moving this, you can see um, default position. Uh, that's that default position. Okay, so um, this is 0, 05, this is 27, something like that. So let, let's make the default to be like positive, like um, 48, 22, 20, we can see 21, So this is a good default position. So let's just make it something like 21, 16. Okay, let me quickly make a note, guys. Now, for your, I don't need to waste my time, guys. Let me just <laughs> let's continue. Okay, so yeah, so let let's just set, um, let's take different position. So that will be motion. Um, go to X default position. Let's take twenty. And um, Y default position. Uh, let's just take. So this is a coordinate system, right? Like you have twenty comma one sixty. So you can have to plus twenty comma one sixty on. The your grid, okay, uh, your graph paper. So yeah, on this region, 20 comma 62. Let's what position is that? So let's just pick the flat position. Yeah, so that's the original position. If I change this to zero, let's see the default position, zero, pick flat. So that you are locating that, because this is what is the, if I make zero comma zero, what will be the position? Zero comma zero, so pick flat. So this is center. So it's like this, is like a plotter, <laughs> like graph plotter. So that's what go to go to is like a graph plotter. Okay. So now, yeah, I want twenty um, against one sixty. So plot twenty against one sixty on your graph paper, guys. Your time starts now. Plot. <laughs> okay. So that's the position. So this will be the default position. So when you start the game originally, that will go to happen. And also this one also I that set the default position for my spaceship. I should set the default position for my spaceship. Okay, so don't worry about that. I'm going to do that. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go ahead with that now. Then I don't really this direction you can make this thing to like maybe orientation, like you turn 45 degree, 15 degree. So um, let's just give it let's have 45 degree. Do you understand? So it's something like a transversal. So let let let's 45 degree. Okay, so that's still under motion, right? So point the direction for the point. That's point the direction. If you point 90 degree, let's see what it was with 90 degrees here is now. Yeah, if you point 45 degree, direction 45, point in direction 90 degree. Point in direction 45. You can just type it. So just type it, okay? If you don't see 45, just type 45. And that so that so that would be this for the fight. So it's like, wow, it's coming like this. But I think, yeah, this is scary, right? It's starting like this for the fight. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think I like that. So, flat it, your default position are your uh, default uh, direction. So now, let's control this guy. So, unlike the way I, because now this is, um, this is like the computer, right? So, it's the computer that we control this guy. So, I want it to have it default kind of movement and I want it to be forever. I control my spaceship, you don't have to start there, but this I want computer to control this. Now if you want your computer to control um and the trick is from um, one of my game on the tennis ball if you have seen my uh, my video on tennis ball okay so I'm going to use bounce yeah if on edge bounce so that that's that's the trick I want to play because I want to play end this show. Okay so let's let's quickly play that trick now. So in that case you go for sensing and forever. So, but let's start with um, forever. So that forever will be what control. So bring out your code block for forever because I want it to be indefinite. Then yeah. So then let's go for sensing now. Um, and motion. Yeah. Let's go for motion. This motion. Okay. So now I want to use this if on edge bounce. Then I want movement to be like I don't want it to be too fast. But let's see how it works. So how many steps? Let's see the kind of movement you want. So let's move. Uh, yes, move, move, move. Um, okay, so move 10 steps. I don't know, 10 steps may be <laughs> too powerful for me. But let's see what's going to happen forever. And let this happen indefinitely. So plug it in here. And let's see the effect of the movement. See, it's too fast, right? 10. Yeah, it's so you see, super cool. Okay, so let me control. So I'm controlling this. The only thing I need to avoid um, the girl from touching me. So it's moving already. Uh, I don't want to don't touch me, guy. No, I don't want to die. Please don't touch me. Don't touch me. Guy, can you stop that? Hey, come, come, come. Don't, don't just touch. 
Okay, so now do you see the computer complex is pretty cool, but I don't know how <laughs> if I'm pretty cool with this, it's so fast for my liking. Okay, yeah, if, if you actually make this like 100, it will be super fast. Let's see the trash. Whoa, you can't beat this type of game. See, it's super fast. This is flash, right? It's <laughs> okay. So let's just let's let's work with what we can. Zero. Okay, let's let's just go with five. Yeah, pretty cool. I think I can I can flat I can fight this guy with this kind of movement. So at least let's see. Yeah. So guys, I'm true with that. So let's go for the next try, but not necessarily because there's much more to go. So I need to do more here yeah, because actually no effects now. You can see you can pass through this, but there's no effect. It's not affecting the point and the light. So I want every contact uh, with the spaceship to reduce the light. So every contact with the go. That you lose life, okay. I'm not going to lose life, but this spaceship lose life. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's uh, a new, um, yeah, new event. Guys. Oh, I'm not done with this um, sprint, right? Uh, I'm not done with this sprint, okay? So, and you can see the movement is still moving, right? But I want it to stop moving, then you pick this one here, okay? So, now, now, now I want to create, um, I want to initiate a, a new um, event now, okay? Because I want the situation whereby if um, um, spaceship, every contact, if touching uh, the ball, then um, should reduce life by one. So uh, since I want to do that, uh, and I want that to continue definitely, so that will be forever put block, right? So yeah, so forever, that is control. Go to control. So that's like loop, right? So this is forever put block. Then since I want to start a new event, just go to event. When flat click, then what should happen? What should happen? Okay, so if touching, so I still need to control again. I want to have a conditional statement if. Okay, so now touching, that is sensing, right? So if touching, don't forget that if click on this one. So if touching, if go, touching, spaceship, then what should happen? So click go back. Sorry about that. So sensing. So if touching, bring this one here. So if touching spaceship, then play sound like coral sound. Whoa, I want something quite scary. Okay, so because um, this guy is actually spaceship repair. Okay, so you want to? I don't understand. Okay, whatever. So now, uh, sorry about that. So I want if touching spaceship right. So if touching spaceship. So if touching spaceship, then play chorus sound like whoa, whoa, like whoa, something quite scary, right? So just play something the scary sound, okay? So I uh, that should be for a minute or so or something like that. Okay, so sound, just go to sound. And uh, yeah, this is the sound we have here, view by default. So uh, now I don't want to meow like I don't. This is not a cat kind of show, guy. This this is. All of it. <laughs> this is a game as a, a kind of adventure game and I want it to be quite scary so I'm um, sad so that you can import so just bring this one out first so just hit sound and you can have access to um, other yeah you can go ahead and have, have access to other so now see this one upload sound from uh, I don't want to record new sound and uh, this one choose sound from library so I want to choose the sound from library so you have a um, different kind of sound here. so uh, if you don't want to waste much time since I want a uh, kind of um, move uh, sound so that should be animal right so just click animal then that will narrow out down the options so go for move see move all oh, yeah this one I want let's just play wow something like that so this one I want so click okay that's pretty cool so I have that so I can go back to my screen so I can change this down to work that is available so I'm plugging in here so now let's just look at the effect of that before we go on and um, you, before you can check that you have to plug this in your forever then yeah, plug this one in so let's see now okay when flap it okay so let's let's go ahead and touch so now that is the sound you can hear the sound the only thing is that i'm actually recording um yeah not from speaker so from mic 
so you may not be able to hear the sound now effect so sorry about that so because i by default i'm recording with some mic not speaker not um not my pc speaker so you may not hear so for every contact that that should happen so now in order let's quickly complete this game and don't let us waste much time again so let me just go ahead and complete the code now that will waste much time so guys just go ahead and watch so the next thing is um, i want to be able to control it so just wait for one second uh, let me bring this one down before let me just complete the code block before I drop it again. So now for every contact I want you to change um, this slide to drop this slide by one. Okay, so drop light by one. So that is changed by one. So where do you have that change that? You also change your life. So that's on that data, right? So change points, or you can also change life. So just see this one, you have life and points there. So change life by minus one. So you drop light with that. Okay, I'll wait for um, one second again. Okay? Um, let me just go ahead and repeat this one here. So, plug this one here. Okay, this one. Okay, so back here, good luck. Then, next, that way it's moving is like it's typical, right? Just like this, like this, like, like it's like this is what, what type of shape like is not something like a diamond. But now, I want it to be a kind of random movement. Okay, so I want it to be a form of random movement. So, in that case, now, um, let me go back to my motion. Okay, so um, I want the turn. Okay, so let's just do this one. The degree of the turn. I don't want it to be typical. So let's just go for a random movement. So for random movement, you just go for your pick turn. Okay, so you see something like pick random. So put it here. here. So uh, let's just go for positive. So 150 against 90. 150 uh, against 90. So 90 is some. Uh, what type of angle is that, guys? Perpendicular angle. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is smart. Boy, this is Yeah, it's smart, guys. So you just use your um, the idea of mathematics. Okay. To look at this. Okay. So now, uh, what should happen now? I want to move 10 steps. Okay. So because by default it is 10 steps for now. Okay. So 10 steps. Okay. So and that is motion. So move 10 steps. Yeah. Then I tell you. Let's just see the effect of that without wasting much time. So um, you see now the movement. So we don't need to reduce it now. So on like what we had before. So it's random now. It's not like what you had before for touching edge before this. So it's not about touching edge again. So it's now random. You can change your direction anytime now. Okay, on like what we have before now, just touching edge. So like we've been able to improve on this code block. Okay. So now let's just stop this. Okay. So next now. Um, this lightning. Then um, I'm not going to create code for lightning now but I want the lightning to have effect on this go right so now um, if touching lightning if go touching lightning then you should play sound like a sound deadly sound to kill this guy because the, this this alien cannot exist guys like it's a threat to human race so we need to get rid of this right <laughs> okay we don't want threat okay so now and the only way out is thunderbolt guys strike down okay so now let's go ahead and we're still go right don't forget don't make mistake guys and because if you click this then it's going to change right now so we're still go okay so now let's go ahead and complete the code block now so i want to take this alien out of my way okay so that's conditional statement so go back to control uh, I can bring down my code block is cool, right? So if now this is another conditional statement, okay? So um, let's go for sensing again because touching that sensing, right? So if touching lightning, lightning, that is if go touching lightning, okay? So what should happen? Play sound like a space ripple sound because this is space game. So like yeah. So now we need to create a new sound, but let's just click sound first. And I'm not sure that is available by default, so it's not available. So you just have to go to sound again and um, choose sound from library. I want to narrow it down to space. Um, electronic music, flow, percussion, um, effects. I wouldn't know. Uh, where do I have space? Um, instruments, music, percussion. Guy, yeah, I <laughs> um, it's there. Okay, see the effects. Space ripple is there. I'm sorry about that. No. Observant. Okay, so just take this now and click OK. So it will be available now. So you should be able to add it. So go back to your script and um, go back to sound. So space frequency is available. So just click um, plug in there. Okay, so next, um, I want um, to control it. So just take wait. I think I should be clicking this 
two again, twice. So yeah. Um, just let me bring this one. Wait a little. Right. Then uh, change point by one. Do you understand? Because if touching like me, then should change point by one because I mean that I have scored points, right? We never have score. You want to increase your level. Yeah, this is you exploring space. Okay. So when you target this, then that's cool. That is you've been able you are successful. So you should be able to increase all your points, okay, based on that. Okay, so let's go ahead, change point by one, right? So to change point, don't forget that uh, point that is your data, right? So I have change point by one. And it's positive one die. Positive, okay? Or like that one, because you reduce like that is minus one. And when you increase that is uh, positive. Then I'll uh, wait one second. Just a second. And okay, so um you can just go ahead and duplicate that um, step because this has this control this okay so this is a new control just duplicate this and end with the same here so that so that this um I don't want this conditional statement to override this so that's why I need to duplicate this and put this back okay so that you maintain the remote to just put this one here so that's pretty cool so I'm true with this um code now okay, I'm done with this guy I'm true with, with, with the code for block for cow so let's finally let's work on lightning okay so lightning how do we start that so lightning code block now so don't forget um, the conventional way to start is um, when flat click right when flat click when flat click so that's the conventional way okay so yeah let's go back to the page so I'm on lightning lightning code block so when flat click, um, the first thing is that I need to change the orientation for this um, lightning. Okay. So, um, but I'm not going to increase that change in my code block. I'm not going to increase that change. Okay. So um, let's just change the orientation now. Uh, that is um, motion. This is smart, right? <laughs> this is smart. <coughs> we can do direction. Now I can do um, anti-clockwise. If you do anti-clockwise, that will be anti-clockwise will be um, 90. But if you want to do clockwise, that will be 270. So let's do anti-clockwise 90. So anti-clockwise, this is anti-clockwise. So that's the that. That's what we want this one. Let's do anti-clockwise 90. So that should give us the direction. So do you see now this one? So anti-clockwise 90, that will give us that. Okay. So I, but I don't want it as part of my code block. I just want it to be the box direction. Don't forget, that's why I have to remove it. Just the box. Okay, so yeah, let's now get started now with the code block. So the first thing, I don't want it to be visible because um, when this guy comes to um, view, I do, like this should not be available until I press my um, space bar key. So it should so go into ID now. So let's hide it first. Okay, so now to hide, so the first thing I want to do is to hide this like this. So that is on that look. So you can hide it. Look, when you look, then you see. So you should be able to remember that hide. Hide and show should be on that look. So when you look there you see something right so i so i actually need i don't show for this okay so let's just start with i okay now and i want something to happen forever because i want to i want the clone of lightning to generate from this spaceship forever okay and that is to happen when space back uh press so right now i press key space for my keyboard the space key for my keyboard space key then um, i want this um, to up, um originate from like to generate from this okay okay so now let's just go ahead and do that so control i want it to be forever so forever hold block like loop then conditional statement as you know. so if then what should happen so sensing so i want you to sense from if um if space bar do you understand so key press so if key this is space key if space key press then Create a clone of myself. Do you understand? Clone. Like you guys, you know Naruto can create clone. I want to create clone. Ah, yeah. So Naruto, right? So just create clone of myself. Can generate different clone. Okay. This is what I want to do. So uh, if key space press, then create clone of myself. So now to create clone now, so you go back to your control because it's clone. So you are creating clone. So that's control. So you can see it's create clone of myself. That is key space back. Then create clone of myself. Then um, I don't want that to. So I want to be able to control it. This clone of yourself. I want an effect too. So I will know that what something is being created. So when something is, something is being created, you 
like I have thunder, so I should have like a lightning, like a bomb. Yeah, so let's just go ahead for sound now. So sound. So what I was sound, if you look at this sound now, what we have by default is pop sound. So you just have to go and, uh, uh, and work on it. So sound, so go ahead and choose your sound. Choose sound from the library. Whoa, what sound do you want? Let's just go for space kind of sound. Okay, space. Um, space should be... Um, let's see. Space sound, yeah. Effects. So you can see space ripple. So just click OK. Is that what I want? Right. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Cool. So that should be available now under my screen. So just check it's available. Okay, so now I can add that to my code block. And uh, wait another one second. Let me just read this one out. I need, let me just uh, duplicate this. So I can end it with it. Just part it. Okay, so this one. Wait. Yeah, everything is pretty full right. So um, because of our time, guys, I'm not going to check that. Let's just go ahead and complete the code block for this. Okay, so uh, this one go in here. And don't forget this is I. So I need to show it back. Do you understand? I see I'll show. So just keep this one for now. Now, what should happen now? When clone is created, so now clone, that is here, control by. So when I start as a clone, you can put this one here. So when I start as a clone, then I want this key to go to spaceship because it's originating from the spaceship. Do you understand? So it's not that the light is coming from anywhere. It's actually from the spaceship. Okay? So when I start as a clone, go to the spaceship that you can originate from the spaceship. Do you understand? So I want the spaceship to be the producer of lightning. Yeah. The generator. <laughs> okay? The generator of lightning, whatever. Okay. okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so go to spaceship. So that's that, that what I want. Okay, so go to that will be on that space. So go to, see now, go to mouse contact, but I want you to go to space. So just play this. Okay? So that, because that, then you can now show. So now let's say this lightning is um, here. Don't forget that it's easy. Do you understand? By default, let's say it's here, because that's why I don't have um, a direction for lightning. I don't have a default position. No default coordinate. Not, so I don't know default coordinate. So because it's hidden, okay? So whatever coordinate it takes is hidden. But immediately before you can show up, you have to show up why you are on this guy here. So that, that's what this code block is saying. So go to spaceship. When, so when you go to spaceship, then show. Show yourself, guy. Okay, so now repeat and touching. So I want you to continue the evolution to as you generate keep generating the lightning as much as um press the um space key or your keyboard so you keep generating the lightning so then you can maybe vanish from view on touching edge or on touching the ground something like that okay, so that's what i want to do now so that that is control so let's control the lightning so control now i want it to repeat until something happens okay so that's good so repeat on touching edge or touching down Okay, so now so since touching, touching has to do with sensing, so you go to sensing, so touching, okay, touching, okay, so yeah, what side of touching, because this time around now, I want a um, kind of um, either or statement, so, and it's not available yet, so I need to use operator, guys, so I need to use operator to complete uh, my action, so just take um, this operator, any operator with or, yeah, this, this is a good operator to do that now. So yeah, this one is pretty cool. So let me go back to sensing now. Okay, so touching because I want touching. I, I have two options. So either touching edge or touching down. So they should vanish from view. That's what I want. Okay, so let's work on the first one. So touching edge vanish from view. The touching down you can vanish from view. So so just put this to the here. Okay. So that's a bit until this happens. Just for this one. Okay, so now then I want that to lightning is actually the direction is up, so it's already just moving up. So let's say the spaceship is the origin, this is just moving up, so that will be positive, right? So just going up, so that is change that is y. So you can do change y by 10. Okay, so that's change y by 10. Then um immediately this um complete there you can go ahead and delete the clone, right? So, delete the flow, right? So, yeah. 
when the clone, great clone of myself, great, that is great. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That's great. That's sensing right. So you can delete clone. This is delete clone. Good block. So delete clone. Okay, guys, I'm going to plug this one there now. Um, so when I start as a clone, go to the show, plug this one here. The feature, you can see the code block now. So go to spaceship, show, then repeat. I'm on the touching edge or touching down. They change by 10 because it's moving up only. Then it's closed. So, uh, sorry about that. So, take it from here. Now, no, in here. So, um, can you just see the effect of that, guys? So, when flat click, let's just see the effect of that. This one says set point. This is the mistake. So, the mistake I made here is that set point to one, not set point to one. Because I already set point to zero here. So, this should be change point. This should be change. Okay, sorry about that. So let me just click on that. Okay, so take this one up, go back to your data. So change score, change point, thank you. So this should be change point by one. And let's just put it here. And don't forget that we have two condition assessment here. This one here is um for the spaceship. Okay, if touch a spaceship, then it should reduce life by one. Then this second condition statement says that if um, touching lightning, go touching lightning. This this first condition statement is if God touches spaceship, reduce life by one. Then this second condition statement says that if God touching um, lightning, then increase point by one. Okay, so then um, that's pretty cool now. So we can plug this one in here. Don't forget, not this idea here. Okay, so now let's see now. What I just want to inspect is um, life reducing and point increasing. By default. Okay, now we have life five and the point is zero, so the point should be increasing and the life should be decreasing accordingly. So for every contact with the lightning, um, the point increases, and for every contact with um, the spaceship, the life reduces. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so I just want to have my first shot. So do you see the point is increasing? Second shot. So point is increasing. Okay, so now that lightning is working now. Let's go for touching down. Okay, so you see light decreases. So yeah, so everything is perfect now. So uh, what I need to do now is um, to end the game. Okay. Uh, to end the game now, I need to create um yeah. To end the game now, I need to create um, a new um, backdrop to display game over. Then I'm going to record a sound out. Game over, oh my god, <laughs> something like that. Okay, so guys, uh, so to do that, guys, I just go ahead and pick costume, if you don't mind. Okay, uh, sorry about that, just stage first. Just pick stage. Okay, now, I need a new one here, so just something like this. So if you don't mind, you can duplicate, or you just go ahead and pick new backdrop. So this, so you choose backdrop of like this. Um, there is space, now I'm just taking. Okay, the space just go to space and, and, and okay now so this will be backdrop three. Look at what we have here. But you can rename it. Let's just rename it, okay? So let's rename it. So now let's just rename this um um go ahead and design this, okay? So um um first thing, let's just go ahead and write test, click this test and I'm going to upper case game over. Then I, I mean I can change the color. Um, let let's just go for red. Okay, so because the default color, <coughs> the default color here is black, so I want red. So let's let's pick red. Or maybe yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Then we can increase. Um, let's just increase that. and maybe centralize. I think it's pretty cool like this one. It's pretty cool like this. We want to make it a little. Yeah, it's pretty cool. See something like that. Yeah, game over. Then uh, much more. Uh, let's go ahead and I want to add some sound effects to that too. So now let's just go ahead. Now this backdrop is cool now. So let's go ahead and create a um, script for this backdrop. So just click this. Um, when flat click, I want to start editing it. When flat click, um, switch backdrop, switch backdrop to game over. You see, see there already. But um. We can't. We don't want it to switch backdrop to cable over because we want the former default one to be the conventional. Game. Okay, so now because that's when flat click. That's when you are just starting the game. Do you understand? So let's just start with the space backdrop, normal backdrop. So you see, no 
come about from space. Okay, so now, then we now wait until the light is zero because we want to end the game when the light is zero. So you wait until the light is zero. So that is control. Okay, so wait. So now, since I want to do life equals zero, so that is mathematics. So let's go to operator because I want to keep the work inside. So when life equals zero, so I created um, a variable before under the tab and tag life. So take this life here. So when life equals zero, okay. So you wait for that. Okay. So when that happens now, you can now switch backdrop, go back to look, and switch backdrop to keep over. Okay. Um, Let's wait for one second. So I'm going to wait for a second. And then please sound. Okay, now I'm going to record the sound now. Oh my god, game over. Oh my god, then I'll stop on. So let me just bring stop on here. So then let me go ahead and record the sound. Game over. Sorry about it. Let's start this uh, couple of over sound. Okay, so you can start now recording. If you record, you just press this button here. Okay, so let's get started. Oh my god, game over. Oh my god, game over. So when you are done, you just click up stop here. Then you can add the effect to your sound, maybe louder, fade out, fade in, etc. Like that. So pretty cool, guys. I, I, I'm done. Let me go back to the screen and add that sound. So go to sound, and that should be game over sound. You see, it's, it's available now. So I want this one here. Okay, okay guys, uh, pretty cool. Uh, game is actually ready. So let's go ahead and make this bigger, and uh, let's take a look at it and play. Okay, so now let's test run now. To test run now, don't forget that we navigate with some. Um, video that will help you guys enhance your learning additional mathematics mathematics um ict robotic coding videos most of the um add mass mass and ict video here are actually exam style question igc cgcc exam style question to be specific so you can see something on transformation matrix and numbers system solving polygon waiting artificial intelligence um scratch programming you can develop your own game using and block or um so yeah scratch programming Simulating binomial density function using Excel graph of trigonometry that's three graph statistics and probability and probability and statistics function and data analysis are many more. So if you find any of my video um, quite useful or interesting, guys, just go ahead and click like. You can also help subscribe to my channel, guys. <laughs> subscribe to my channel, guys. Okay, so that will really um yeah encourage me to to do more. Okay, yeah, here is my YouTube channel, guys. There are quite a good number of e-learning resources, wonderful e-learning resources, and all videos on my YouTube channel are also available via my test shop, guys. So if you find any of my e-learning resources useful and helpful, uh, just go ahead and help review in order to see what I can do to help improve all my resources. Okay, guys, at this point now, let's call it a day. Love you guys. Do have a great day ahead. Let's end with this note, guys. Let's end with this note. Break the streets, sir.